It's the NBA on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Alex Caruso out there with White. Then it's DeRozan, and it's Vucevic, and it's Levine, and at the three, the small forward. And for the Nets, Dorian Finney-Smith is out there with Bridges. Then it's Thomas. Then there's Dennis Schroeder, and it's Claxton, and at the five, roaming the paint. Doris, what is it in particular about these teams that might make this an interesting game? Well, I think you have to look at Kevin. Both of these teams understand how to execute in the half court. And by that, I mean, number one, they set really solid screens. They're willing to get to their second and third options, and they have creative playmaking. This should be great. Now, here's Schroeder. Claxton finds Schroeder. Outside for Thomas. Five to shoot. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. And the Bulls with possession. Outside, Levine. The feed to DeRozan. Misses in close. Outside, Thomas. Back to Schroeder. Here's Finney Smith. DeRozan defending. Outside, Thomas. For three, hits the three-point bomb. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. White against Schroeder, and White kicks to Caruso. High post try. DeRozan can't get that one to fall. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. And you know, Doris, Brooklyn's gone through a pretty tumultuous few seasons. You know, Kevin, there have been some circumstances that were unpredictable contributing to what you're talking about. And now, as a consequence, a lot of turnover on the roster and on the coaching staff. Listen, it's never easy to make the kind of transition they've had to make. Greg, here we are watching Claxton. Uh, who does he remind you of? You know, Kevin, defensively, he looks a lot like AD out there. Similar builds, and, and Claxton can also handle the ball a little bit. Just want to see if this guy can develop an ability to play facing up to the basket. DeRozan's shot is good. Whatever it takes to get to his offensive game, that time DeMar doing work in the painted area. Levine against Bridges. This one for three. It's up and it's off the mark. He's 0 for 1. DeRozan scanning the floor. Here's White. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Yeah, attacking the interior is something White does well. He's crafty, and he makes good adjustments against the defense. Now, here's Schroeder. Throws it up high. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. Schroeder against White. Levine wide open. Off target from outside. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. The pass to Thomas. Back to Schroeder. Shoots over White. Again, the Nets for two. Well, Dennis Schroeder taking advantage of the pick and roll action. Very good decision maker. Caruso, the pass to White. It's stolen by Schroeder. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Schroeder. Some changes for Brooklyn. Trendon Watford's checked in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And Johnson subbed in for Cameron Thomas. And Chicago also making a switch. Ball's checked in.
Here's Levine. No scoring in this one. Pass to Caruso. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, here's Levine, drilled from 11 feet out. Yeah, Levine, not a guy you want to concede that mid-range game to. So skilled in that area. Schroeder against Ball, passes it to Johnson. Off target with his three. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Here's DeRozan, fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. I think I can make the case that DeMar DeRozan finishes through contact like a big man. This guy is tremendous at end one opportunity. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Sharps checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Lonnie Walker comes in for Bridges. And Simmons subbed in for Dennis Schroeder. Then for the Bulls. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Williams comes in for Levine. And it's Dosumu in for Alex Caruso. The consistency of DeMar DeRozan throughout his tenure in the NBA, it's incredible how consistently good on the offensive end he has been. To the paint. And Simmons gets it to go on the assist by Walker. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Johnson against DeRozan. Pass to Williams. For the three. Nailed from three-point land. And that makes it a tie ball game. Uh, DeMar DeRozan finding his teammate with an on-time, on-target pass. That one good for two. And that's exactly what they're going for on that shot. Ball surveying the defense. Now here's Dosumu, guarded by Walker. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Four left in the first quarter of the game. Bobbed up there for Drummond. Boy, watching Andre Drummond is a little like going back to 90s NBA basketball. Highly skilled, traditional big. Walker in the post. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. The Bulls have gone six of ten from the field in this ball game. There's 42 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's DeRozan. Drummond, great positioning on the putback. Andre Drummond has attacked the glass offensively as long as he's been in the league. Boy, those second chance points come quickly to this guy. To the inside, Sharp. Andre Drummond grabs the miss. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over and his defense so valuable. Not many can bother that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. No question, he got bumped on that shot. The Nets have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. And really, they haven't been able to differentiate themselves from the free throw line on the season at about 76%. First one falls for So Johnson hits two of them. Eight seconds left to play here in the first. Here's DeRozan. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. Both teams have it going here early and still close through the first quarter. Brooklyn ahead, leading by just two. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment.
Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And uh, from Brooklyn guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. Right, there has been some talk of having overtime play to a target score. Can you make the case for that? I mean, yeah. I mean, more certainty on how long the broadcast will go, right, Kevin? And protecting players from the heavy minute loads that can result from those games that go into multiple overtimes. So I, I, I like that idea. We've got Mikel Bridges. Thomas is out there with Dennis Schroeder. Then there's Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Claxton in at the center, filling out the middle. That's the Nets' five as we get into the second quarter. Thomas, no good. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. White the pass to Caruso. Back to White. He kicks it to Williams. Four on the shot clock. From downtown. And it's Finney Smith with the rebound. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Well, tremendous effort, tremendous timing. The ability to alter shots on the perimeter, that was beautiful. And here's White. He'll bring it up for Chicago. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Makes it off the glass. Levine's got the lead up to three now for the Bulls. Well, Levine able to take on the contact there and still finish. That's a tough shot. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Nets have been forced to pivot from their star-crossed super team era. The what-ifs are fading into the rearview mirror. Now it's people like Mikael Bridges that are going to form the next new era. And rest assured, this team has dug its way out of far worse. With the draft assets and two-way talent on their roster, their aim is to remain competitive. Kevin? I think they are. David, thank you for the report. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. White finds Caruso. And the foul on Dorian Finney-Smith. That's his first foul. Man, that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. The open shot, Levine. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Levine's got six points. This guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. Shooter passes to Thomas. Screen, 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 screen. Shoots over Caruso. Thomas's shot is off. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's one he normally converts. LGA for the Bulls. It's been a struggle to find consistency the past few seasons. It's been a one step forward, one step back kind of situation that they don't need to set their sights on a title yet. They just have to establish that winning culture. Now here's Thomas. Shoots over Caruso. They retain possession. Thomas's shot is off. Chicago leading by five. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. And again, Zach Levine. Time out, time out. He's got ten. Adding to their advantage, trying to find a way to blow this one open. One of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matchups and then going at them. And the first timeout call to the game for Brooklyn. Well, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most?
a new group out there on the floor for the Nets. Then for the Bulls, Andre Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. DeRozan comes in for Williams. And Ball subbed in for White. And the pass to Simmons. Here's Watford from the baseline. Second shot opportunity. And with that, the Chicago lead is cut down now to just five in the bucket from Ben Simmons. When you're 6'11 and have that kind of athleticism, get to the backboards. Well done, Ben Simmons. Now, here's Ball. Nothing on the board. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, the defender all over. And GA, this Nets team, kind of slim on the interior, don't you think? How can they be most effective? Well, you've got to press that advantage as far as quickness and get out and run and challenge opposing bigs to cover you in space. That's good from Ball. I tell you what, it's scary when you think about how much room Ball has to grow when you factor in how efficient he is already. Ball hits them both. Nets trail by seven. Outside, Simmons. Walker against Caruso. Yes, that goes in. Walker's got six. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. DeRozan passes to Levine. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assist. Levine's got the lead up to eight now for the Bulls. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for Brooklyn. Johnson outside. The Nets working the ball around now. Here's Simmons. DeRozan with the rebound. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 16-6 run. Puts it up from 12. It doesn't go for him. Net shooting 43% for the game. Simmons with it. Now guarded by DeRozan. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. At 6'11", this guy is very difficult to get a quality contest. Ben Simmons does a nice job drawing contact. The Nets have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. That free throw missing. Say what you want about Ben Simmons and sometimes the challenges he has on the offensive end. He is a hard playing defensive force who has windows of opportunity where he contributes offensively. Chicago making a switch here. Dosumu's checked in. Good on the second free throw. And here are the Bulls now. They're on a 16 to 7 run. Pass the ball. Outside DeRozan. And yes, it's good. DeRozan's got seven. Boy, how about the body control from DeMar DeRozan? Just an outstanding score despite the hit. Here's Simmons. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Andre Drummond picks one up. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that. There shouldn't be much debate there. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. That's good from Simmons. Hey, 
That one misses. The Bulls leading by eight. To the wing on the left. Now here's Dosumu. He's guarded close. And that one is good. And that's 15 points for Zach Levine. When Levine plays with energy, there's very little a defense can do to contain him. Boy, that's a bang-bang play on the inbounds pass. I like those quick hitters. And so it's Zach Levine making things happen for Chicago. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Nick, what changed as the first half continued? Uh, we uh, we toughened up a little bit. We know we were, they were getting a lot of easy points, a lot of points around the paint, uh, around the basket, and we just started playing more aggressive, playing hard on the defensive end, and that got us uh, going offensively too. So we just got to keep doing that, play hard, and uh, should be fine. Keeping the paint tight is key. Thanks very much, Nick. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Zach Levine led the way in the first half. He ended up with 15 points and two rebounds. It was a return to form for him tonight after struggling in their last out. What do you think, Shaq, about Chicago? Well, they've shown a lot of discipline in the offensive end. It's not about getting the quick shots, it's about getting the good shot. And if you want to know how that approach is working, just check out their physical percentage. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Brooklyn? Well, they have to improve their defense. Guys were getting burned on the perimeter. They wouldn't put a hand up, as my man used to say. Hand down, man down. Oh, you got to get him some help. That pretty much covers everything. I mean, shot. You think they played their best? No way, no way. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. You look at Zach Levine. He's really been playing well. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now, this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Taking a look at the Bulls, Vucevic is out there with DeRozan. Then it's Kobe White, and it's Alex Caruso. And it's Levine at the small forward. Now, here's Levine. Shot clock at six. Jacks up a three, and it's White missing. Nets trail by eight. Now here's Schroeder. Here's Thomas. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Thomas got five. Well, coaches love seeing this from Dennis Schroeder. Recognize the situation, find the open teammate. Over in the corner, Caruso. And out of bounds as the Nets gain possession. No clue <laughs> where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Early 2023 saw Cam Thomas just erupt as a score, Greg. We were talking about it every game. A guy who was ready to break out. And Kevin, I like using the word ready because he was given an opportunity and took it. And he showed us all what a productive machine he could be. Here's White after Ben Simmons bucket. Here's DeRozan. Seven points in the game. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Bulls lead by six. How about those instincts from the seven-footer? Vucevic uses that size to snag offensive rebounds. Here's Simmons. Right through the D for the layup. Simmons got four points in the quarter. Oh, that's some fancy ball handling right there. Since when does he take guys off the dribble? Here's White. The shot comes out. Simmons with the defensive effort. Bridges with it. 
Now guarded by DeRozan. Bridges passes to Schroeder, and he banks in the lane. And now just a two-point Bulls lead. Well, Schroeder is six foot one with a thin frame, but make no mistake, he's got balance and the ability to play through contact. It's blocked. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for Simmons. And the Bulls making a change here as well. Williams, he's checked in for DeMar DeRozan. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Five on the clock. Williams for three. Rebound, Brooklyn. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Schroeder kicks to Thomas. Passes to Finney Smith. The offensive rebound. Claxton. Misses the layup. He had him with that pump fake. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. DeMar DeRozan credits his upbringing in Compton, California, for helping him make the person that he is today. He said, it gave me my toughness, my aggression. It matured me very fast into a man. That's something that to this day sticks with me. No matter what I get or how much I have now, I still remember what it feels like to have nothing. Kevin? That's a good thought to keep in your head. David, thanks. Now, here's Schroeder. Zach Levine unable to get his last shot to go. Here's Thomas. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Caruso up top. Thomas covering. And it's good off the back rim and in. White's got seven. An assertive offensive player. White knows he has the green light to rise and fire. Timeout called the Nets. You look at Zach Levine, he's really been playing well. Boy, he's really had their number. They need to make some kind of adjustment during this timeout. So for the Nets, Trendon Watford's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Johnson comes in for Mikael Bridges. And it's Lonnie Walker in for Cameron Thomas. The Bulls also changing it up. Andre Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Dosumu comes in for Zach Levine. And it's Lonzo Ball in for Kobe White. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Bulls? Guys, they've done everything they can in this one to just dominate that backboard offensively and keeping control of the ball and then converting. And their fast break has also been a key metric in this one. They have had a significant advantage in transition over the course of this game. Now here's Schroeder. Pass to Johnson. Back to Schroeder. There's the pass to Finney Smith. The Nets need to get a shot off here. And it's blocked. Pass to Williams. Brooklyn with the rebound. Finney Smith's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. 
On the wing, Walker. Six points for him. Here's Schroeder. The step back jumper is good. Schroeder's got four points in the quarter. That's about all you can do on the defensive end. Schroeder making a hard shot look easy. And Ball slams it in. And there is no better way to add to the lead. Isn't that true, GA, especially when the slam is coming from the point guard? That's got to be a little bit deflating to the defense, guys. Getting kicked when you're down. My goodness. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Dothurmu shot is off. Nets trail by seven. I always like to hold for the last shot right here. Well, that's great execution if you can do that because it takes any chance of momentum away from your opponent. Twelve seconds left in the third quarter. Watford, that's good. DeRozan with it. Seven points in the game. Over Johnson. DeRozan's shot is good. DeRozan's got nine points. That is right in his wheelhouse. DeMar DeRozan in the mid-range. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third quarter. Both teams putting up points. Bulls lead by seven. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Forward spots will be Bridges and Johnson. Simmons is out there with Thomas. And it's Claxton in at the five. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Now here's Johnson. Bridges for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Bridges has got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Nets. DeRozan passes to Dosumu. Outside, Levine passes it to DeRozan. Shot clock at five. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. And there's Levine on the assist from DeRozan. DeRozan's got three assists now in this one. Simmons looking it over. Pass to Bridges. Johnson outside. Simmons against White. No good from Simmons. Boy, that's the kind of look this offense is designed to create. That's just a tough miss. And it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. And, uh, oh, hold on here. The official's making a call. He was fouled in the act of shooting, and we'll have two free throws coming right up. Didn't look like we were going to have a whistle on that. And he makes the first. Well, what you love about Mikel Bridges is he is going to accept whatever his coaches and team ask of him. This is what's allowed him to be successful. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for the Nets. Both free throws good from Bridges. And Doris, we know Mikel Bridges famously traded for Durant, but it's interesting. Durant was Bridges' favorite player growing up. 
And Kevin, it's always interesting when there's a connection between the idol and the guy who is idolizing him. But give Mikel Bridges credit. He has come into his own as a star. This guy has proven to be a capable offensive player and is one of the truly legit defensive wings that you have got to plan for. White dishes to DeRozan. Kicks to Vucevic. Here's White. You see the strong defensive instincts and ability of Ben Simmons right there. He's attached to that shooter. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. That pass was about the location. Puts it perfectly into the hands of his teammate. And here's Levine. Not a piece of it. White against Simmons. Inside, here's Bridges. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. And now just a one-point Bulls lead. Boy, you have to be aggressive, powering through contact. Mikael Bridges, no signs of backing away. Poke loose. Simmons against White. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Boy, that's the last thing they needed. This game too close to be making those kinds of errors. The Bulls making a switch here. Caruso's checked in. The Nets have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Here's Simmons going inside. Wow, how about that drive? That was no mercy on his way to the cup, Ben Simmons. And here's White. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Dish is a two to Rosen. Outside Levine. Three-pointer. Offensive rebound. Wow, Vucevic with the big time delivery. The Montenegrin says that's my shot. And Simmons kicks to Thomas. Looking to get back on track here. Can change shot and Finney Smith gets it to go. And the Nets lead by one. Dorian Finney Smith given the opportunity with a big time delivery. White against Simmons. Here's DeRozan. It's hauled in by Claxton. Claxton's got rebound number eight now on the night. 51 left to play here in the fourth. Always going up for the LU here. And finish off by Finney Smith. If there's a teammate open on the floor, Simmons will put it on time and on target. Bulls trail by three. Outside DeRozan. White bounce pass. DeRozan with it. Working on Finney Smith. DeRozan, that's good. Oh my goodness, you could tell DeMar DeRozan demanded the basketball. He wanted the chance to be the deciding factor. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. They're up by one. 129 left in the fourth quarter. moment to present the New Balance player of the game. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion. 
creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Kevin Ollie said to his team. Now, they told the team, we're winning this game with our defense. All we need is a couple of stops. Keep your focus. We'll see if they can close it out. Kevin? Thank you, David. Side ball. One fourteen left in the fourth quarter. It's stolen by Vucevic. DeRozan passes the ball. Caruso with the ball. The Bulls with another miss. Well, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. And it's DeRozan missing. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Yeah, a national champion in college. Bridges has also played in the finals. So Mikel is built for pressure moments like this. free throw is good and that gives them a four point cushion. Mikel Bridges is rock solid in whatever role this team has given him. Now it is time to stand and deliver in the clutch at the free throw line. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five point game. He's able to make it a two possession game with some solid work at the line right there. And the Bulls call timeout here. They trail by five. 26 seconds left in the fourth. Finney Smith's checked in for Brooklyn. Here's Caruso. Good. 
And he has brought them to within two points. Well, just because he's a center, don't be deceived. Vucevic loves connecting with his teammates. Pretty pass. It's the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. One thing Dennis Schroeder has proven is that he can be an effective player whether he's starting or coming off the bench. This is a versatile guard, and maybe his best attribute, confidence. And so Levine will bring it up now for the Chicago Bulls. Launches a three, and it's Finney Smith with the rebound. Got his hand out enough on that one to bother the three-point attempt. Great hustle on that one. You know, we talk about this time and time again, trying to stay connected to shooters along the perimeter. Nicely done. Two shots. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. The second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Well, you love a guy who gets himself to the line, takes his time, and makes the free throws. Complete professional. Levine for three. Connects from down. Timeout, timeout. Big shot with time winding down. Clutch Mark. move by Levine. Timeout called the Nets. They're leading by three. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Intentional foul there stops the clock. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four point cushion. So both free throws are good, and it's a five-point game. And so it's Brooklyn with the win. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, just effective in terms of coming away with this win. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.